Good evening, good evening, good evening. How are you? Good evening, how are you? I'm doing good, thank you for asking. Hello, George. Good evening. All right, excellent. Hey, George, did you did you fix the problem with the with the activity, on the platform on the platform? No, no yet. No yet. The problem was that I didn't have a, at this time the a PC, ah. so that I couldn't I couldn't make it because the apostrophe I didn't find it in my phone. Oh, okay. Well, well, maybe you can try it from the computer, or you know, you can copy the the sentence I texted you. You know, and okay. paste it there. That's another option. I, I, I try. I already try, but it doesn't work. Really? Well, maybe yeah. you try from the computer then, right? Yeah, I, I will tomorrow. Thank you. You're welcome. And remember, if you need more assistance, just text me, right? So I'll be more than happy to help you. Okay, I appreciate it a lot. You're welcome. So good evening, everybody else. How are good you evening. tonight? Yes, yes, yes. Oh, my God, what a beautiful Christmas tree, Alicia. Yes. I love it. I love the colors. Yes, yes, yes. yes, yes. It's um something different to the common of the Christmas color. Exactly. So you normally you go with like um you Woo! know red and green. Red, uh, green. Exactly. Ah, uh -huh, exactly. But that combination of colors, it's just beautiful. I like it. All right. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So we also see here Milagro. So Milagro, right? Remember, Mister, right? Okay. Good evening, sir. <laughs> Good evening. All right. I'm sorry. No worries. I'm sorry, All right. Roberto, hello. Carolina, hello, hello. All right. So hello. see more people. Sandra, Juan David. Rene, Monica, hello, all right, hello, hello, hello. So we have all of you here. Well, everybody, let's just start right now here. So I was just like trying to load this one. One second. Okay, there you go, excellent. So, well, everybody officially welcome to our tonight, tonight's class. All right, so we are going to start with, you know, in my classes, I like to start normally with this type of activities because I like you to practice your pronunciation and your intonation and to focus on specific sounds or final sounds in, you know, when you're speaking English, right? So that's why for you tonight, I have this activity, which is a tongue twister. Tongue twister, tongue twister, tongue twister, all right? So that's the reason why I have it for you. So... Well, I hope you don't end it up like this, right? So, but let's see. It's going to be easy, 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 easy. Let me pronounce it for you first, and then you guys are going to try it. I will choose a lot of people to try it, right? So, let's see. Right now it says, Susie <coughs> works in a shoe shine shop. Where she shines, she sits. And where she sits, she shines. That's the pronunciation. One more time. I will do it slowly. Susie, one second. Susie works in a shoe shine shop. Where she shines, she sits. And where she sits, she shines. All right. Now faster. Susie works in a shoe shine shop. Oh. Where she shines, she sits. And where she sits, she shines. Easy, right? <laughs> I know, I know. Okay, excellent. So right now, my friends, I will give you only one minute to practice it. All right. So you can practice there, read and repeat it. And then I will select some people randomly to pronounce it. All right. So you have one minute, one minute, what minute? All right. Go ahead and try it. Go ahead and try it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Continue practicing, continue practicing. Susie works in a shoe shine shop. Where she shines, she sits, and where she sits, she shines. That's how you have to say it, right? Still have one minute. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yep, 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 yep. Susie Wait. works. In a what shoe is shoes shine. 
excuse me, Monica, I couldn't hear you because of the connection. Uh, what is the meaning of shoes shine? Just to confirm you said it correctly, you're asking for the meaning of shoes shine, right? Yes. All right, excellent. So yeah, I'm gonna write it right now here. So that is gonna be shoe shine here. One second, I'm typing this on the board. All right, so let's see. You know, shoe shine. Okay, excellent. It's in the chat. So do you see it? Yes. All right, excellent. Thank you. Okay. Okay, everybody, time's up. So now let's see, do I have a volunteer? Who's my first volunteer? Let's see. Me, teacher. Thank you, my friend. Go ahead. Okay. Susie so works in a shoeshine shop. Where she shine, she sit, and where she sit, she shine. She shines or she shines? She shines. There you go. Excellent. Thank you very much. All right. So I can see I have also Norma. All right, Norma? <laughs> Okay, Susie works in a shoe shine shop where she shines, she sits, and where she sits, she shines. She shines, all right, excellent. Thank you very much, Norma, appreciate it. Let's see, next one, it's Monica, all right, Monica? Susie works in a shoe shine shop where she shines, she sits, where she sits, she shines. Great job, excellent. Thank you very much, this one. Thank you, Monica. So let's see, Alicia, go ahead. Okay, Susie works in a social shop. Where she shines, she sits, and where she sits, she shines. Amazingly good. So super, super nice. Thank you. Roberto, your turn. Okay, uh, Susie works in a shoe shine shop. Where she shines, she sits, and where she sits, she shines. She shines. Shines. There you go. Excellent. Remember that it's not shines at the end, it's shines but thank you you did good about the rest all right so thank you my friend carolina your turn okay susie works in a shoe shine shop where she shines she sits and where she sits she shines okay carolina very good but just remember that we have this ones right here and let's see it says this one this is like shh like for example shoe shine repeat it shoe shine there we go and so this is where she sits she shines. Repeat it. Shines. Okay. Where she sits, she shines. Repeat it. Where she, where she sits, she shines. She, she, like, like, she, she shines. She shines. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you very much for trying. Thank I appreciate you. it. Right? No worries. No worries. All right. So let's see. My next volunteer is going to be Rene. All right, Rene? Uh, Susie works in a shoe shine shop. Where she shines, she sits, and where she sits, she shines. Shines, exactly. Thank you. Thank shines. You. Excellent. Who's my next volunteer? Mm -hmm. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Who's next, 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 next? Me. Oh, hello, George. Go ahead. Hey. Susie works in a shoe shine shop. Where she shines, she sits, and where she sits, she shines. Excellent. Thank you. That was actually super nice, right? And what about the rest? Everybody else? Let's see. Woo, a lot of people here. So I could have a lot of volunteers more, huh? Oh, thank you. Evis, right? Go ahead. Okay. So she works in a shoe shine shop where she shines, she sits, and where she sits, she shines. Thank you very much for that one, right? Truly appreciate it. All right. So Let's see right now. Thank you, everybody, for participating in this activity. I really appreciate this one. So this is a good way to warm up right now, and we can start practicing with the rest of the activities we have right here. So what's next for tonight? Let's see. 
All right. So, well, everybody, we are going to start talking about, oops, I'm sorry, personalities, all right? Personalities, 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 all right? So, we are going to learn vocabulary to describe personalities in, and how to give a definition of those personalities in English, all right? So, well, I need just one volunteer right now who can help me to read the instruction, the instruction that I have here, please. This one. All right, Evis, go ahead. <clears throat> Match the words with the definition, they de then decide which words are positive and which are negative. Write P or N next to it, next to each word. Thank you very much for that one. That was actually correct, all right? So we are going to like uh, these letters that we can see here, we are going to write them in this space right here according to the definition that we are talking about. And also we are going to write P for positive or N for negative. Just let's say, for example, right? To be a sociable person is something positive or negative? According to the example is positive, positive, positive. right? So, but positive. what about this one right here? Vamos a ver, solo por like, like number two, intolerant. Will that be positive or negative? Negative. negative. That is negative, of course, right? So that's what we're going to be doing right here. So we can actually continue, um, you know, on this one. Ya adelantamos aquí because this is negative, right? So let's see. But what is number two? Intolerant, right? Who can help me with that one? Volunteer, please. Hmm? The number oh. three. Carolina, all right. In your opinion, which is so intolerant? A, B, C, D, E. A. A. Can a. you read it? Can you read it? A person who won't accept other other people's difference. Differences, exactly. That is correct. Oh. So a person who doesn't oh. tolerate anything. All right. So thank you. All right. So number three, the number three, Alicia. Uh, okay. I think that it can be I. A modest number okay. three, modest. Okay. I someone who doesn't brag about his or her ac accomplishments. Accomplishment. Ac accomplishment. Thank you very much. All right. So everybody, do you agree with that? Yes. 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 Great. Excellent. Thank yeah. you. And this one, is it going to be a uh, something positive or negative? It's positive. It's positive, positive, right? So basically you are humble, right? So let's see. Then a uh, number four. Will you for number four? Roberto, okay, temperamental. So what is it? It I think is uh, yeah, a person who doesn't worry much or get angry easily. Number H, letter H. Letter H, a person who doesn't worry much or get angry easily, temperamental. So he said H. Agree or disagree, my friends? Mm -hmm. Agree or disagree? What do you think? Hello? <laughs> yes? Hello, hello. 